All right, well, here is the day four of growth video, and uh, I think y'all can see pretty well. It's quite a bit taller. That's good, that's cool, that's what we like. I know the lighting isn't perfect, I apologize, but I'm out here after dark on my back deck just trying to show y'all what I got going on. So the, the wheatgrass now is, oh, about inch and a half to two inches tall. And again, this is the day four growth, so this is the oldest stuff that I have. Um, and then we'll just run you through what's going on with the rest of it. Sitting over here on the ground, I have the day three growth. Uh, not many green shoots, and it smells kind of funky. I think I did get a mold issue like I was afraid of. So I've got these two buckets sitting on the back deck now because they've sprouted already and they're starting to grow. I figured I can go ahead and set them out here on the back deck. It is going to get about 100 degrees out here tomorrow, which is not optimal for growing this seed. Um, but I hope that because it's already sprouted, there won't be a big deal. Worst case, I can set it in the house, um, but I'd rather not. But I'll show you the rest of it is sitting in there on the on the uh, floor and just goes in order. I've labeled the buckets. Um, that's A and B, so it's just what, you know, the alphabetical order. And then C, D, E, F. So F right now is day six. It's got seed in the bottom that's dry and they'll start it soaking tomorrow. So like I said, I've, I've scattered them all out so they can get a little bit better airflow because they were stacked up and I don't think that was working. I think they were getting getting a little funky on me. They smelled a little bit more today than they, than they did in the past and I think they were maybe starting to get a, a mold or something. So hopefully I got them opened up and they'll air out and they'll not rot, but we'll just keep an eye on it. I mean, I, you know, I mentioned that in the first video that I was afraid leaving the bucket stacked would cause that. But I really don't want to spread them out just because I'm, I'm running out of space, you know what I mean? <laughs> Come on, well, my wife and I are crazy. This is our formal dining room, by the way. So, there's my wife's mega fish tank that she's really proud of. But yeah, our formal dining room is a kid's playpen and, uh, you know, a fodder growing room and a uh, fish tank room. But if I have to, I can, I guess, move the, the bag of fish feed there, which we still haven't opened, and then the bag of wheat itself can move those and set two more buckets there but now I'm running short on buckets because I've had to put underneath every perforated bucket I've had to put a solid bucket so I really had to go s scratching around the yard and the garage and find all the extra buckets I had and I think I've just about tapped out I had to use a lot of my buckets that I was using for uh, honeycomb scraps in the bee yard so I think if I really stretched I could find maybe two more but most of them have grain or something in them so if I have to, I could find two more, and that would give me seven days, which a lot of people say fodder is done in seven to eight days. But we'll just kind of keep an eye on it and see, like I said, how this is looking. I'll need, depending on how this looks, this is day one, depending on how it looks tomorrow, I'm still seeing an awful lot of seed in there, so I don't think that um, it's going to be ready to go tomorrow on day seven of, well, it's seven buckets, but it's not day seven of growth. It will only be day five of growth tomorrow. Does that make sense? Oh boy, now I'm getting my numbers messed up again. Okay, we started it Thursday afternoon, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, today's Monday. So this is day four of growth. Um, I guess the problem is that the seed occupies a bucket for 24 hours, but I can double up on buckets at least. I can, uh, you know, right now I've got that top perforated bucket's empty, and it's got seed in the bottom that'll soak tomorrow. So I can always soak my seed in a solid bucket that's below uh, seed that's been dumped out. So that is one option. Um, that'll save me at least one bucket, and I'll just dump the seed in the morning before I soak it. Anyway, you know, I don't want it sitting, right now all these buckets are drip buckets, so I don't want the seed sitting in there all night long getting dripped on by whatever falls out of there. I want to soak it when I want to soak it, which is in the morning. So. Maybe uh, maybe drill up one more bucket. That'll get me one more day. Am I? Might, mm, nah, I'm really not even comfortable doing that any more than the one soaking day. I don't want to have seeds sitting stacked. So uh, yeah, I'll have to find some more of these cat litter buckets. I'm fixing to actually go change the cat litter upstairs right now. And hey, maybe I'll get me another bucket. 